Manny Pacquiao, the Pac-Man, Senator Pacquiao versus Jordanis Ugas. It's official. This is the fight now that we'll be seeing on the 21st of August, August 21, 2021. Uh, if you guys haven't heard the bad news yet, the fight between Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence has been cancelled. As we all know, they were supposed to fight for um, two belts on the line that Spence will be defending. And uh, yeah, this fight between Pacquiao and Spence is no longer happening. It's now Pacquiao versus Ugas. Uh, to those who don't know yet, um, you know, PBC did post up uh, a statement saying that uh, Spence has uh, been forced to withdraw from the fight because he suffered a retinal tear in his left eye which needs to be taken care of ASAP. He is going to be getting surgery this Wednesday to get that eye fixed. Uh, it's a pretty serious injury if you guys don't know. It, it could lead to you getting blind and honestly if Pacquiao and Spence fought without this, uh, without knowing this, Spence could have gone blind because Pacquiao can punch. And Spence could have gone blind if the, this wasn't found out uh, before the fight. But anyway, um, as bad as the news is for Pacquiao versus Spence being cancelled, the good, the good news is that Pacquiao will still be fighting. Yes, it's not the same fighter. Yes, it's not that exciting as it was compared to Pacquiao versus Spence. But it's still a very good fight and a very good last minute replacement fight. At least in my opinion, I think it is. I think it is. If you guys don't know, Ugas is currently the WBA welterweight champion of the world. The belt that Pacquiao used to hold. If you guys don't know what uh, the landscape looks right now for the welterweight division. Here it is. Terence Crawford holds the WB WBO, WBO belt. And he's been ordered to fight Sean Porter. Al Spence holds the IBF. And he also holds the WBC. But now, Manny Pacquiao used to hold the WBA after he defeated Keith Thurman, but due to inactivity and you know COVID, this and that, the WBA, for whatever reason, decided to strip off Manny Pacquiao off the belt and make Jordanis Ugas the super champion. And yeah, if you guys don't know, WBA is freaking weird, man. They have a bunch of belts. They have a super champion, they have a regular champion, they have a gold champion, and they have a champion in recess. Manny Pacquiao is a champion in recess. Jordanis Ugas is the champion for the WBA at 147 pounds. So now, Ugas and Manny Pacquiao will be fighting. That's the fight we'll be seeing August 21. Which is not a bad fight, like I said. To those who didn't know, actually, Ugas was supposed to fight, was also set to fight in the undercard of Pacquiao versus Spence. Mike Kovinger, who now writes for um, ESPN, uh, he, he recently tweeted out saying that uh, the Fabian Maidana, Jordanis Ugas, was supposed to fight him. Uh, if you guys know Fabian Ma Maidana is the younger brother of Marcus Maidana. Uh, apparently, he's also suffered an eye injury. I shouldn't be laughing because that's a pretty inju serious injury. Um, but it's just a coincidence. Like, he suffered it uh, back in Monday. Or they found out about it Monday. So, so yeah, that's crazy. Crazy um, how things uh, work. So... Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, a little bit more about your Danish Ugas. He's 35 years old from Cuba, now residing in Florida. 26 wins, 4 losses, 12 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. If you look at his resume, his last loss was against Sean Porter in a fight where I actually thought he won. I thought Ugas won the fight. I thought he boxed very well. I thought he landed the cleaner, more effective punches. He, he made he made Sean Porter struggle in that fight. And he made Sean Porter look bad in that fight. Ugas should have won that fight. But, you know, boxing. Uh, Porter ended up getting the split decision win. And he had losses to uh, Emmanuel Robles, uh, Amir Imam. But since those losses, he has improved significantly. And has had really good wins against Jamal James, Brian Perella, Thomas Delorme. Ray Robinson, Omar Figueroa, and like I said, I thought he defeated Sean Porter, but uh, I'm sure some people would disagree with that, but I actually thought he did. And now here he is fighting the big fight, the biggest fight of his life against a legend, 
Manny Pacquiao. I think there's, uh, I don't have to go over Pacquiao, what he has done in the sport of boxing. I think we all know what he has done in the sport of boxing at the age of 42 years old, still going at it, still fighting champions. He's, he may not be fighting Errol Spence, but he's still fighting champions like Ordenis Ugas. So, this is the fight we'll be seeing. And I paid for it already. And I called off work for it already. So at least we have a fight taking place on the 21st of August. At least there's still something to watch on the 21st of August. I get, you know, like I said, like I said earlier, for a last minute fight, for a last minute replacement, this is a dang good fight. It's a good fight for a last minute. At least we have a fight taking place. Some people don't, you know, cancel a whole event and we never see, we don't see it for another few months or, or so. But at least we're still seeing this fight. And I look forward to it. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Who knows, Pacquiao might not ever fight again. This might be his last fight. Because he does plan, there, you know, there are always talks about him running for president in the Philippines. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.